Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Do me a favor, go ahead and like this video in advance. Hey, Nodi gang, I know you guys are over here. You know what we do. It don't cost you nothing to like the video or to watch an ad or two. Just let them play. If you are new to this channel, hey, stick around. I think you'll like it over here. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see the videos that I post. So it's been about a week since I've been on here. I think the last video I posted, of course, was about Wendy Williams. And it feels like a month. It feels like I've been gone a month. And I know I haven't. But that's just how social media works. You feel like if you miss a story, you miss a couple of stories, it's too late to even talk about it. And at first I was feeling like that when it came to like the whole T.I. and Tiny stuff like that. But then I had to say to myself, listen, that hasn't even played completely out. So it's okay if we don't or if certain YouTubers or certain people don't jump right on something because sometimes we jump too fast and there's more stuff that comes out. So I've just decided to allow myself to just chill out. Like I don't have to jump on everything. So that's how I've been feeling about this whole gorilla glue situation with this young lady, Tessica. I wanted to see this play out and I feel like my intuition was right on this. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. So this is Tessica Brown. She is a 40 year old woman from uh, Louisiana, 40 year old teacher. I, I got to put that in there too, because it's going, I'm going to make a point as to why I said that or why I'm telling you her occupation. Anyway, uh, Tessica, who I've seen many, many pictures of on the internet, beautiful woman, took it upon herself to lay her edges down. Like hair was laid, but a little too laid because she ran out of her first hair product, which I'm going to show you the video. And she decided to use Gorilla Glue, a Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. And her hair has literally been stuck in that hairstyle for a month. And she can't do anything about it. And she has gone viral and... There's a whole a lot of mess that follows this, but let me go ahead and show you the video that originally went viral on TikTok. Okay, I didn't see it on TikTok, but I saw this on a few blogs. Go, let, let me go ahead and show you this original video. Hey yo, hey, for those of y'all that know me know my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No, it's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with a little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times. And it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm going to tell y'all like this. If you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this. Unless you want your hair to be like that. Now, when I saw that, I said, this cannot be serious. This woman had got to be glued. And she decided that she could substitute it with Gorilla Glue? She gots to be stupid. That's the first thing I said. Now, when I first saw the video, I said, well, this is insane. Perhaps, perhaps she thought she was using Gorilla Snot, right? Perhaps, but not so. I want to go ahead and show you the second part of this video. Okay, go ahead and watch this. Watch, watch, look, look, y'all, look, look, you wipe it off and nothing happens. Like, this is the life that I'm living at this point. Like, this is the life that I guess I'm going to have to live. <laughs> yeah. Look, 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 look. Now, at this point, I'm feeling sorry for this lady because as a black woman, I know 
the hoops that we jump through to, to achieve certain looks. Like we just want our edges laid down. We want our hair to lie down. We want it to be smooth. We want it to be flat. So on one hand, I was sitting here feeling pretty bad about what was happening with this woman. The fact that she, I mean, it was honestly, I, I can't sit here and pretend like I didn't laugh when I saw her lather the, the, the shampoo on her head and literally wipe it off. And I'm like, well, God damn. All right. After all of this, Gorilla Glue need to come out with like a hairspray. They need to come out with some kind of hair product if, if with all of this, right? Because her hair was laid down. Okay, it was looking good. So then, after this, this whole clip goes viral, we see her take a trip to the ER. And, you know, again, at this point, I'm still like, wow, this is crazy. Like, it's still crazy to me that this is happening to her. We see her family member pouring acetone and water in her head and nothing's working, right? So she starts to trend. A couple days ago on the internet, I see Gorilla Glue woman or Gorilla Glue lady, something trending on Twitter. I'm like, what the hell is really going on? All these celebrities start to weigh in. Chance the Rapper is like, oh, I hope the woman's okay and everything like that. So this is becoming a huge story. Right. She's getting interviews. People want to interview her and, 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 and follow up with her, because at this point, watching her go to the ER, you can't help but to feel bad for her. Right. You can't help but to feel bad for this woman. Stupid. Yes. I, I can't imagine a 40 year old thinking that this was OK. But nonetheless, I'm feeling bad for her because her hair literally won't move. It won't move. And so my empathy quickly turns to full skepticism when I see all of this playing out over the last couple of days. Now, I want to remind you, okay, her hair has been like this for a month. A whole month has passed, okay? She gets on TikTok. She makes the video. It goes viral. Now she decides to go to the ER, okay? And that is why there's some skepticism here for me because I'm like, if your hair has been stuck like this for a month, why didn't you seek medical treatment prior to this? Surely you understood the seriousness of this, but it was only when she went viral that she decided to go get help. Now, when she went, she was trending and people took an interest in all of this and what was happening with her. And people were like, well, is she okay? She was giving updates, right? She said, I'm about to go to bed. I put coconut and tea tree, tea tree oil on it and put a plastic on it. I'll update you guys tomorrow. Thanks again for the advice. Keep it coming. Something has to work. Good night, everybody. So now, like I said, she's getting some attention. She follows up with that. Somebody in her comments asked, did it work? And she says, no. Okay, so people have definitely taken an interest. Like I said, she is trending at this point, right? A lot, like there, I see CNN talking about it. The New York Post is talking about it. Everybody is literally talking about it. And I don't necessarily know if they're talking about it because it's like, I can't believe that this woman is dumb to really spray Gorilla Glue on her head or what else. Even Gorilla Glue came out and, and put out uh, a statement for her, like, we're very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident that Ms. Brown experienced using our spray adhesive on her hair. We're glad to see her in a recent video that she is receiving medical treatment from her local medical facility and wish her the best. But Tessica, you know, while she's getting treatment at all, while she's trying to get the stuff out of her hair, she's still enjoying the attention that is coming with it, right? She posted this on her story you know, from Cardi B, you know, Cardi B like posted her in a meme. So she is getting a lot of attention because that's just how our society works. We always seem to gravitate towards giving attention for, for silly and silly behaviors nonetheless. Right. And then I see this yesterday morning. Now our friend Tessica public figure with the GoFundMe has 587,000 followers and now has earned herself a blue check. Earned herself a blue check, y'all. And I'm just like, why? Why? I I, I don't understand it. And then I read this. This is, um, she's hired an attorney now. 
Okay, she has hired herself an attorney, and she is uh, weighing her options about whether to sue Gorilla Glue, because although it says that it shouldn't be used on eyes, skin, or clothing, it does not mention the hair. And I'm just sitting, sing, just sitting here thinking to myself, you got to be crazy. Like, this has got to be a freaking joke at this point, right? Now, I have to sit here and wonder to myself, and I, that's why I say I'm skeptical about all of this. The woman went from having like 587,000 subscribers yesterday morning and a blue check to moving on later in the evening, y'all. Later in the evening, this woman had over 600,000 uh, subs- uh, followers. I'm sorry, not subscribers, followers. I heard she made a YouTube channel, okay? She got a blue check, and now she got management, Okay, and so I cannot help but to wonder if this was all done on purpose. And I don't think that's unfair to wonder, especially this day and age where you can literally go viral for a whole lot of stupid shit. You can go viral for a whole lot of dumb shit and you will literally have a following over foolishness. It, it's, it's not uncommon now. I don't put nothing past nobody. I don't put nothing past anybody when it comes to attention. When when, attention is like a drug, right? Clout these days are like a drug, right? People literally, there are women who have millions of followers for simply being the baby's mama to a rapper, a barely known rapper, right? It, 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 the, the stuff that we elevate and the things that we uplift and elevate these days in society, it's no wonder a woman who used Gorilla Glue adhesive spray on her head is now a blue check. And probably when I look at her Instagram again this morning, I haven't checked it, probably is more than likely close to a million uh, followers. I, I, I would not be shocked about that because this is just what it is. So I asked myself and I asked you guys, do you think that she possibly did this shit on purpose to get visibility, to get some notoriety, to get some clout? Or was it just a stupid mistake and she's just taking advantage of a, of a stupid ass thing that she did? She's just taking advantage of the opportunities thrown at her. I can't be mad at that. It's just stupid what we elevate in this right now. It's just so crazy. It's so crazy. And like I said, the skepticism comes from the fact that her hair has been like that for a month. And only now she decides to go to the ER. And when I read the uh, interview, it basically said that she, the people at the uh, hospital told her, they could try to get it out, but it's going to take about 20 hours. And she decided to go home and let them do it, you know, to do it herself. And then what she does, what does she do when she go home? She gets on video. She gets on video and she's showing her cousin putting the acetone and the water in her hair. She could have done that at the hospital. Right. And then the GoFundMe, I, you know, what is exactly is she, you know, collecting money for? Now, it's possible that she's collecting money for the hospital bill, but hell, According to her, she didn't even stay. She didn't stay that long, but hell, it don't matter. You know how them hospital bills be, even the ER visit, right? So I could see if she wanted some assistance with the hospital bill, but she didn't stay. They could have assisted and helped her, but she didn't stay. Why didn't she stay? They said it would take 20 hours. Why couldn't she stay if she really wanted assistance? Why didn't she do this a month ago when her hair wouldn't move? Why only when it went viral that she decided to go to the hospital and get something done about it or try to get something done about it, but didn't stay when they could have actually did something and helped her because it was going to take 20 hours. And she said she'd rather do it at home. No, she'd rather record it at home. That's what that was about. So I, you know, I can't help but to wonder and think that this was about attention, right? I, 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 it, it's just a drug getting clout these days. It's a drug It is addictive to a lot of folks. I cannot believe that a 40-year-old teacher bypassed the hair care section and went over to the hardware section because Gorilla Glue adhesive spray is not where the, the jam at. It's not where the jam and, and all the, 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 the hair care products at, right? It's not. It is not. So the fact that she is suing them is even more silly. I, I have a feeling it'll get dismissed. Like, girl, bye. Girl, but it, it, nice try. She can try. But just the foolishness of her now trying to sue them because it didn't specifically say you can't spray it on hair. Well, I don't know what the hell she teaches. It says she's a 40-year-old teacher. 
I wouldn't want her teaching my goddamn kids that she don't have common sense to know that you can't put Gorilla Glue spray, adhesive spray that you didn't get out of the hair care section on your head. All right, what, what exactly are you teaching? Because I wouldn't want you to teach mine because you ain't even got common sense. But that's why I am led to believe that this is about attention and nothing more than attention. So I ask you guys, like I said, I don't want to make this long. Do you think that she did this on purpose to have a moment to go viral? Or do you think that, you know, it's an unfortunate situation, but she's just taking advantage of an unfortunate situation. Now she got management. She got to go fund me. She's a public figure. She got a blue check. You know, things are looking up for the Gorilla Glue lady. It's, it's, it's crazy. It is just insane to me what we elevate in our society. The bar is in hell. The bar, you don't have to have a talent no more. You just got to glue, you know, spray glue in your hair and get on TikTok and you got a moment. Now watch other folks try to try this stupid shit. That's all I got to say about that. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. This is just foolishness to me, but uh, that's kind of wanted wait. I wanted to weigh it out because I felt like it was going to be some attention seeking shit. I really did. I really did. Um, Felt sorry for her at first, but now I'm just like, yeah, okay, this is attention. It's all about attention. But let me know what you guys think because I could be wrong. Let me know what you think and uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.